fishing, hunting, and trail riding on land for sale in Alabama. This property is located in Calhoun County. That's just north of I-20. It's south of Etowah County, if you're familiar with the area, and north of Talladega County. This property has not been surveyed. The, the acreage is based on the county tax mapping. So you're one mile off of Bowling Springs Road. You're down Simpson Bend Road, 37 minutes to Gadsden, 15 minutes to Lincoln, you're only 55 minutes or so from Birmingham. There's a road that goes in between two houses here that's uh, it's been utilized for a long time. Um, it's not a deeded access. It's prescribed, that would be considered prescribed easement, but you come through the gate and this is where we unload. And it's about a mile and a half of trails. Now that's including the car line access. Greenfield and it is currently being used to hunt. Now you'll notice too in the video there's some good merchable timber on the property. There's another look, little cool little greenfield area. I like this area. It's very pretty. It's very um, you know and sometimes you talk about properties that are snaky. This has kind of got that deer feel to it in turkey feel as well and I've seen deer rubs. There's deer tracks all over this particular greenfield here on this property. It's a really neat property. And this is a property, it's a recreational property. It's a recreational track. It's, you can utilize it for things that you feel like you would like to enjoy, whether it be ski fishing, deer hunting, or just a place to get away. This could be, this could be that property for you. And uh, you'll notice that it's got some good things. feet give or take along the river um, you could got this nice lane of a uh, power line that you can utilize to shoot if you want to there's a section along the road um, that's not on the property but the good thing is you have the power line that you can still utilize and you can access every bit of this property um, from that power line so so you don't no need of worrying about crossing over somebody else it's an area that would make a really neat little boat launch area here along the Coosa River. And again, it's important to know that rivers do flood, and you got to keep that in mind. Whatever you buy on the river, whether it's this property or any property, um, when, you, when you're down on the river, you, you got to understand that rivers do flood and you got to make preparations for that as well as being knowledgeable about the area and about um, that as well for yourself you know if you're interested in buying this property those are things that you have to do. So the north end of that pond that you saw and then we're going to travel along the um, the east side of that pond approximately around 300 feet or so at widest point depending on how you pull your lines based on the tax records and everything. And um, one thing that's kind of unique I found on the property is there is an old home place, it appears to be. And we're gonna see that in just a moment in the video, but this is kind of cool, you know, kind of a little cool place to, pri you know, the fish, kayak, canoe. And it's 
very it's so convenient to I-20. I mean, if you're 15 minutes from Lincoln, you're 15 minutes from the interstate. You know, I mean, so you're very very convenient. And then from Gadsden to here again, it's about 36 minutes. So if you're coming in off of 59. But uh, here in a minute, you're fixing to see the PIN numbers for the property. If you want to do your research, you go to Calhoun County GIS. You can type that in Google. Just make sure Alabama. You can type in these PIN numbers. These are the pro proximate property taxes for the property um, to kind of give you some more research there for you. So uh, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to show you this property. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them the best that we can. And again, as always, we appreciate you following, but you can reach uh, me at this number below.